are the clinics, the... Fa uh, ac accurate serve contest. Okay. Last year it was fast serve, but it'd be accurate serve contest. Okay. And then the pro-am. And then the pro-am. Then the, t the tournament starts the next tournament starts, the starts next on Wednesday. Day. Yeah. And goes all the way, you know, through to Sunday. Right. But before the semifinals match, mm -hmm. we, we have this... We have the this... The Coastal Hospice Cup. Coastal Cup, yeah. Okay. And I sort of make it up as, as I go. How I got started is I said to the WBOC guy, yeah. I said, you know, I know that. Okay, wait, save it, because if you tell me now, then you're not going yeah. oh, to. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, tell <laughs> Okay, and how do you want me to introduce this? Tom, how do you want me to introduce this? Because it's not like a regular show. No, it, it's, it's not, but uh, um, it, you know, public information, if it's just, you know, Hi, introduce yourself. Okay. We're talking Salisbury Tennis. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it, it'll air. Okay, but you don't call all these random shows something. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. okay. No. All right. It's just a, just, just you could, if you want to call the Jack and Jenny show. You I really don't, but thank you for that. <laughs> I really don't. I like that. I really don't. <laughs> uh, you get okay. too much demand. <laughs> Been there, done that. You could do anything you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're ready, I'm ready. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone. I'm Jackie Jennings, and this time of year, we talk tennis and once again we are talking tennis in Salisbury. The 2012 Purnell Thomas Tennis Tournament is upon us and once again we're going to spend the next half hour learning about the tournament, learning about what's involved this year and getting a little history lesson on tennis in Salisbury. With me today is Vaughn Baker who has been heavily involved in tennis for years and years now. Yep. We're going to talk about that and also the author of a book Salisbury Tennis the Camelot years, yep. and we're going to get into that in a couple of minutes. But tell us a little bit about the tournament last year. Well, the tournament last year was was a, a very nice event. A young man from college actually beat these pros. He's from the University of Virginia. Jamar Jenkins is his name, mm -hmm. and uh, he was a, either a, a, a freshman, a sophomore, because he's still playing this year, and he's considered maybe seventh in the country. Wow. And so you see this young man handle himself so well, have a photograph of him that uh, we'll, we'll show, and uh, play just tremendous tennis. He also participated in the Pro-Am with, the, uh, with the, the various folks we had. Just delightful young man. And I used to uh, be paid by Wilson Sporting Goods to uh, scout tennis talent. And I can tell you, this Jamar Jenkins is a keeper. He you have is, a good eye. He is going to be a, he's going to be around, and we're going to see him on weekend tennis and the U.S. Open and Wimbledon. He's going to be a top player. Sounds good. Nice to have him here in Salisbury. Now, tell us a little bit about this tournament for people who don't know. This has been going on for years and years. A little break in between. Yes, that's that's correct. Mm -hmm. And so the Memorial uh, Thomas Memorial uh, Tournament initially because of uh, a young man who uh, passed away. It was a tennis pro, pro, uh, uh, pro, pro actually. Right, right. And Ed Thomas, uh, his brother, picked up the mantle and started organizing the tournament. So it was a Chris Thomas uh, tournament. And um, a few years back, uh, another uh, a tennis person that uh, everyone loved was uh, Jack Purnell. Right. And Susan Purnell from Coons Jewelers um, got involved in the tournament, so it became the Purnell uh, Thomas uh, Memorial Tournament. And um, and the, there's a committee that puts us together every year, and they work, you know, very hard organizing this. Uh, and they've been keeping this history uh, alive that that we had in Salisbury. You know, many people didn't, didn't realize that Salisbury was Tennis USA. Yeah, there is a ton of tennis history. Yeah. We're going to talk about that in yeah. just a minute. Um, but the tournament, you don't have to love tennis right. to enjoy this tournament, and also it's free, right? Which is exactly. fantastic. Exactly, it's free. It's um, um, a we schedule matches so that uh, at lunch and at dinner, so people can it makes it easier for people to get by and see them. Um, these are maybe players are like 200, 150 in the world. Um, 
not number one in the world, uh, and about a half a dozen of them will go on to play in the U.S. Open of the players we have. And, you know, being 150 in a world means that seven billion people is, is quite an accomplishment. And uh, last year, some of the press played with and got to sense how good these players are. Today's players are some of the best athletes in the world. It's just phenomenal what, what they do. They train, and um, it, it's good for any, anyone who likes sports to see these, these young people, um, uh, ha how they've t taken fitness to the, the highest level. Yeah, it is amazing. And the dates this year are August 14th through the 19th, and we'll tell you more about the tournament coming up. But you certainly have followed and, and been a key player in the history yes. of tennis yeah. in Salisbury, and you wrote a book about it. I did. I wrote a book uh, last summer called Salisbury Tennis, The Camelot Years, and all the proceeds of that went to the tournament, which in turn goes to Coastal Hospice, and, um, and sort of reunited a lot of the folks that had been involved in tennis here. Many of them uh, were unaware of the total picture because, uh, you know, every two or three years they would be in this and they go off to college. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't until the whole, they saw the whole picture they realized that they were part of something larger. I had worked uh, for Wilson and then Prince, so I, I was at least in a position where I could see from a, a higher position looking down how important the Salisbury tennis program was. And give us, a, you need to drop some names here, tell us how important Salisbury tennis was. Well, in the book I talk about, you mm -hmm. could have been eating at the lunch counter down at Reed's, if you, you might know. remember that. <laughs> and um, you might be sitting next to Jimmy Connors or Bjorn Borg, I mean, it, or uh, you might get called out of school if you were a player to go hit um, uh, for, for your, um, your, ath your hour off to go hit with Borg for a practice partner. I mean, it, it, was, it was phenomenal. If you could put that in today's terms and say it was golf, because golf is so popular, say um, go out and, and play around with Tiger Woods for practice. It, it, it's, it's the same thing It was going on here. So it's very, it's, Salisbury should be quite uh, familiar with it. And, and Jackie, they told me that last year, uh, not only was it good for our tournament, it was the biggest book in tennis last year. Was it really? Yeah. Take a look. <laughs> it is the biggest book in tennis. <laughs> we have a copy here. <laughs> now where can people get a copy of this book? Um, contact me. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's limited numbers left or okay. better yet come out to the, uh, the opening night of the tournament and I'll autograph, autograph the, it for us. the remaining books that, that we have. Okay. And you went on to have a pretty good of international tennis career after well, Salisbury, I, I, Maryland. Mine was more on the business side. I, w I was a good player. I played mm -hmm. at University of Maryland. We were undefeated. But um, in those days, tennis was, was um, the handsome eight. Uh, it was before the handsome eight even. Mm -hmm. It was just a few pros that went around and played. And I wasn't handsome, and I wasn't <laughs> one of the eight. So, but I got into the, in the business side of tennis, and my job became scouting. Uh, promoting, working with the players became the, the go-between between the player and the, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, and the company. Mm -hmm. uh, get the Wilson ball used at Wimbledon or U.S. Open, that would be part of it. Organize a junior program, that f funnel all the good players that were coming up and get them playing with Wilson. We had 96 percent of all the top players in the country playing with wow. Wilson in those days. Wow. I think we had some old pictures of you from back in the day, right, yes, that we're going to yeah, put up here yeah. in a minute. I think there was some handsomeness going on there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you brought some props with you, I right? Did. Oh, I did. Over here. I did. I think they're over here. Um, as opposed to talking to me, I thought it was talking about... Uh, got a glare on that. Uh, can you put the oh, sorry. back up on the DVD player? Just lift it up on top of the DVD and push the back. The oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there you go. Getting some light well, on it. How do you want me? How do you want me to start this speed? Keep going a little bit more. That's good. Good. Yep. Thank you. All right. Sorry. Um, we'll just say uh, you brought some props. Okay. With you. All right. Stand okay. by. Um, whenever you're ready, Jack. Okay. All right. So you brought some props with you today. I did. I I was going through these uh, rackets. Mm -hmm. This racket Billy Jean King used to win Wimbledon in 1967. This actual racket. This racket. It's a T2000. Uh, few few uh, people that know tennis would even realize that Billie Jean 
use a metal racket for first right, Wimbledon. Right. And then she and Rosie both use, uh, Rosie Casals both use mm -hmm. rackets in Wimbledon. And, um, and I didn't even know it. And I worked for Wilson and Billie Jean told me and, and uh, we got along well. And she said, hey, you dummy, and to remind you, here's the racket. And, and I've cherished it and I've carried it with me all, all of those now, years. Now, how did you get a hold of it? I worked with Billie Jean. I okay. would handle her contract, handle her the relationship with uh, between her and uh, and the company. Make sure she satisfied with her racket. She was a little bit of a head case when it came to rackets, <laughs> and uh, I could talk to her. And, mm -hmm. and most people would just give her what she asked for, and I would give her what I thought she wanted. Right. And um, and because anytime she lost, she wanted to change rackets, right. and the loss didn't come from the racket. The loss came from from something else that she was doing. Huh. And I think that's valuable as being in my job, having been a player, certainly uh, of nowhere of her note, but enough to appreciate how, what kind of player she was, but be able to talk to her uh, from a tennis perspective. So the, 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 the Russian Davis Cup captain was, was a dear friend of mine, didn't speak English, I didn't speak r Russian, but through tennis, right. we could relate and talk and, and um, even enjoy a good beer together after, after practice. Or a little vodka. No, so this or isn't vodka. going on eBay anytime soon, right? No, no. that won't. Okay. That, that will go to my, uh, my, my granddaughter. Very nice. And you brought another one with you, I too, did. which this I thought a, was really interesting. This is the first ever Chris Everett autograph mm -hmm. that was, uh, this was also, if you ever saw the commercial of Chris Everett throwing the racket and running up to the net, it what looked like a a tournament. Oh, right. okay. That was the first female TV commercial. And this was a racket and uh, I have a picture uh, that she signed where sh she threw the racket in the air and it got caught in the wind. It was coming down. It was going to hit her right on the head. And I ran out and batted aw away so it wouldn't uh, hit her. Right. And uh, when I batted it away it went across the net and then I went running across the net until it stopped my progress and the racket broke and was cracked so um, that racket was uh, the first one and and um, and it was it was broken and so she gave me a, an autograph that says Vaughn thanks for breaking my first <laughs> my first Chris Everett autograph <laughs> and and I kept the racket nice this and this almost looks like an antique rackets have changed so it much does it does and it's not it's yeah. that racket was only used for a TV commercial and then I wrapped it up mm -hmm. and carried carried I was very active in in this uh, entire uh, development of the racket. Mm -hmm. it, we already had the, uh, the uh, not me, the folks at Wilson mm -hmm. who were really talented, already had the graphics and had done all of the research and knew that we wanted to go with Baby Blue and wanted me to, but I wanted Chris to feel like she was involved in the process. Right. So I went down and said, so Chris, how, how could you imagine this racket? We want you involved in the process. She didn't know that. Oh, I think I'd like it to be yellow. Mm yellow um, so I had to talk her from yellow back to blue because I wanted her in the process but we right. already we already knew the uh, the cosmetics we wanted so it was a it was a it was a fun uh, a fun period and she did quite well with this racket yeah. you know from that that time on what a treasure to have it is too. all right back to the tournament let's talk about opening night and opening night was a little Last year, last year, last I year we, we put some attention to opening night, mm -hmm. and there were three parts. We had a junior clinic um, with with um, some of the local kids that wanted to play, and and um, some of the, uh, the, the f folks from the Salisbury team put it, you know, put that together. And uh, then we uh, had a fast serve contest, and uh, had some prizes for that. And then we had a pro am. And the Pro-Am was 11 uh, teams, and half of those were the pros, and half of them were uh, uh, local folks mm -hmm. and, and press who uh, got involved. And the reason I wanted that is I wanted the press to know how good these folks are. It's, you know, it, tennis looks easy until you get out and you go, gee, that's not quite as easy as, as uh, you know, I would imagine. And the beauty of tennis is, is that you have all, all these many levels, and er, at every level you think the next step or two is is the top, which is which is wonderful, it keeps you going. But it was it was a very uh, uh, well appreciated evening, and, and good fun. And then our turnout during the week was much better, and of course the press did a much better job promoting it right. because they had a greater appreciation of what what was 
entailed in, in playing right. this kind of tennis. Right. And then we had, um, uh, uh, took that a step further. Mm -hmm. During this event, I was, I'm one that likes to kid around and, and the um, one station was the, uh, WMDT. Mm -hmm. The um, other channel was the other channel. I've they're, heard of them. They're, yeah. they're, they're not, they're not going to be here today, so <laughs> I don't have to say their name. And the males on each of those teams mm -hmm. were very good athletes mm -hmm. but had not played tennis. So when the, I worked with them, I hit with them, and I said to one of them, I said, you know, you're, you're so bad you couldn't even beat the radio announcer, Bill Reddish. But, but maybe you could beat him, but I don't think that you could beat the guy from the other channel. What do you mean? And then I said the same thing to each channel. So I got them going together, and then Susan Purnell was quite nice from Coons, came up with this trophy for it, and uh, got them, and got, you know, we got the press really involved mm -hmm. in, in promoting, uh, promoting the, the tournament. And you're gonna do that again this year with the we press, We are gonna correct? do that th this year. Okay, all right, we're gonna talk to one of those teams coming yes, up in just a minute, are. but speaking of Bill Reddish, he sent us a little clip here he did. He had of such, his experience. He did, he had such a good time, he wanted to, to say, say something about it, and it sort of ended up saving his life getting involved. And uh, I can even remember seeing him out there, um, a friend of mine, Randy Taylor, was helping me uh, Run the clinic that night, and I kept saying, "Randy, I think we, I think we need a substitute for, for Bill Reddish." But he, he was a man. He played it, and then he went to the doctor, and and uh, has lost 40 pounds, and and stopped smoking, and is playing really good tennis. And and he sent this as a gift, which I think they're going to play now. Well, not now. Yeah, well, right. I'm just saying. But I just wanted to give you a minute there. All right. And then okay. He, and then he's another piece on there where he talks about. The, uh, if we want to use any talks about the Okay. Cup. All right, so now you've already talked about this, so do you want me to ask you about it, or do you, or do you want to talk about defending the um, Like, where do you want to go from here? I was just trying to lead into it. You want to talk about the match a little bit, and then the... The match between the... Um, or do you want to save that for uh, when you talk to the uh, team? Let's, let's talk to the team. Huh. Let's see how to do this. Uh, how, about, how about you? Uh, you want to talk to Vaughn about h how the match helps promote the? Uh, well, a we kind of did that a little bit. I mean, well, here's my question: D How are we going to? I was trying to get to the story about you, that you said we'll tell that story later, so I didn't mean to mess it oh, up. Oh no, 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 it's no <laughs> problem. I just want to make sure we're going down the same okay. street here. Um, how are we going to? Are we going to go to a break and then come back, and all of a sudden they're going to be here? Like, how is that transition yeah, going to go? Make, we can make the transition any way we need to. Um, I can do that. I, I uh, could say uh, something we'll like, I... The Bill Reddish, and uh, if we, I want to get Susan Parker in there, too. So if we can talk about the media okay. and the effect on the tournament and the good it's doing for the cause, okay. and then repeat good. when when the uh, tournament's happening again, just so I can put it up. How about, how about if I were to say something about Susan Parker and then have on tape me saying, uh, you asked me a question, some here about, about the, this, and I say, why don't you talk to the, uh, you know, the... Okay, let's come back from, yeah, let's come back from Bill. I'm just updating, sir. Safety. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to put that on there. All right, Jackie, whenever you are ready. Okay. So that was Bill Reddish who played in the tournament last year. Obviously, that changed his life. It did. A little bit. And, um, and, and, and the idea to get the media involved really kind of helps promote the event and raises money for this cause, which we haven't talked about. Some good synergy going on there. Exactly, yeah. The, um, the Brunel Thomas has raised uh, in excess of $125,000 for coastal hospice. And um, I think last year it was fifteen, sixteen thousand uh, dollars $16,000 was the contribution. And it's free admission, so all of that comes from our sponsors. And, um, and our sponsors uh, depend on us to get them exposure during the, uh, in, during the tournament. And so that's, it's, we love to have people come out and um, and that's why we work so hard. When I say we, it's committee works hard to bring s such good talent 
um, you know, in here. Yeah. S Susan Parker was one of the press involved, and she uh, she sent a letter um, uh, recently, you know, thanking the committee for their hard work. Uh, remind how she was reminding of all the, the besides coastal hospice, the other um, benefits that the tournament has done, and then she talked about how nice the players were and and how great athletes, but they were kind enough to take someone like her who was just a beginner. She was just a beginner. She had never played tennis, and, and uh, she wrote an article last year about uh, what it's like to begin to play tennis when you're older. And, and uh, I gave her lessons twice a week uh, during the summer, and she kept writing notes, you know, bad. And so she played, you know, a beginner in, 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 this, um, in this event. So she was quite uh, nice, and, and so the, the, you know, the press uh, saw the value, saw that the, the benefit to the community, and um, so I, I felt really good about the, the the total you know the total way that the press uh, got involved. Right now, you coached all of these I did. press people, yeah. right? Yeah, How was I did. that? Is there a little oh no, know, they, some they um, competition going there. Uh, the competition was a couple of the young folks had mm -hmm. never played um, tournaments, uh, uh, t tournament mm -hmm. tennis. Maybe maybe a little they had played, and I got them going against one another, and um, and they're, they've, <laughs> they've been practicing since last, <laughs> <laughs> last sep September. They've been practicing to come back and, and um, either defend or take the title back. So it re really uh, nice young, young people that um, all, the, all the press have just been really, yeah. really delightful. Yeah, we're actually gonna talk to one of those teams coming up in just a moment, but we want to remind you the Purnell Thomas Tennis Tournament coming up in August, August 14th through the 19th at Salisbury University. Admission is free. We'll be right back. How many minutes do you okay. think we have? We have lots of minutes. Do we? I, I, don't, I don't have... <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Do you have any predictions for this year? I'll ask you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I, I, All right. I have a line I use for that. Okay. Tennis is the winner. Ah, nice. <laughs> All right. Okay. And we are back with Von Baker once again. So they seem ready to go. Yes, yes. What do you think? Any predictions? Yes, I think that there will be a winner. I think tennis will be the winner. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. All right, we want to remind people if they want to see that matchup, uh, it will be Saturday morning at 10 a.m. on August 18th. Yes. Correct, at yes. Salisbury University. Yes. All right. So, who can we expect to see at the tournament this year? Well, I don't think we ever know for sure, but right. Jamar Jenkins will be defending, and I okay. would think for, you know, he'll want to come. And generally, the University of Virginia will send three or four of their players because they just lost in the finals of the uh, NCAA uh, tournament this past week. I mean, they're tremendous players. Their coach is uh, very uh, cooperative with us. He likes having this venue where his players can get to play, so he'll be here. I don't think the pros like losing to um, a college player, uh, which is good. It puts puts more pressure on them. And mind you, these pros come from all all over the world, and they're traveling for six months prior to prior to this. And um, and then the college kids will will, will come in, and. Um, I, I would think any of the folks in town that want to come out, you can stand behind the fence there. Nobody's going to come up and hassle you. There's some uh, benches there where they can sit. There's a little refreshment stand with popcorn, you know, drinks, water, Coke, and um, and then you know wa watch the matches. There's always good tennis going on. Well, and I think what I really do love about this tournament is the international flair here and that these people are coming in from all over the world. Exactly. Um, do you still do, do you still ask local families to yes, host yes, tennis yes. players? A absolutely. And I'm sure right now um, the committee would love anyone that uh, put their name in the hat that uh, would like to do that. Yeah, absolutely. We'll put some information up about that. And we that. did not say where okay. the event is, and that was my fault, <laughs> but <laughs> it's at Salisbury University, We've said it a wh times. which okay. is a which is a wonderful uh, facility Thank for you. hosting this event. Yeah, we had a we had a player at our house a couple of years ago 
from Thank France. You. And it was, it was really fun. Yeah. My kids had a really good time. Yeah, it's good for that. the family and it's good for the player to have that as opposed to hotels. And, and we have a long tradition of that in Salisbury. Right. Very few towns have that around, around the world. So we have this really long tradition of that. All right, I'm sure you have people that we need to thank. Oh, we and do. And I'm sure you'll leave some of them out, but, but let's hit the well, highlights I, but, here. <laughs> but I think, you know, the, the committee is so mm -hmm. large, but I think we have to say to Ed Thomas um, and <laughs> we'll okay. do it again. All right, well, we'll do it again. <laughs> Susan for now. That's okay. My mind is so right. I know, and that's you're always so the thing close. is that you're... I couldn't do this you know, live. You worry. You're just so you're going to forget. We'll, we'll, we'll get to there. So, okay. yeah, yes, there are a lot of people that we need to thank. Okay. When we start it? Yep. Well, thank you for asking. There are so many, and the committee is, is fairly large. So, But, you know, Ed Thomas every year steps to the plate uh, at Bank of Delmarva. And there's good years and bad years economically, but and I'm sure there's years he doesn't want to do it, but he's done that. And then Susan Purnell steps to the plate. Um, I mean, she was great to work with last year, just coming up, just streaming this event up on, on, on the fly. And, um, and I go to some of the committee meetings, and I'm just very impressed by them. And then all these wonderful sponsors. I mean, you just have to say, um, well, do you want to do it again this year? Bay Runner, for example. Oh, absolutely, you know, and that's, you know, there's no more discussion. Yeah. And, uh, and and Mercedes was a major sponsor last year. And I, I guess I can't say that on public access, but, but it's all part of the community. It right. really is. Yeah, we have a very generous community yeah, here in Salisbury. All right, one more time, if you would like to attend the 2012 Purnell Thomas Tennis Tournament held at Salisbury University, you can head over there August 14th through the 19th. It's going to be another great year. Get out there and watch some tennis. Should I thank Pac-14? Nah, no. Oh, come on. Yes. All right, one more time. <laughs> All right, from? Uh, actually, we got that. Uh, I'll go to the two shot. You can thank Vaughn for being there, and then I'll come back to you. So that was a good close. So, uh, so I've already closed? Yeah, you already closed, and then you can thank Vaughn for being there. Let Vaughn respond, and then I'll cut to you, and then you can thank Pac-14. We'll okay. okay, All right. Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready. Okay. So thank you once again for telling us about this tournament. Oh, thank you. And thank you very much for, for interviewing me. I really appreciate it. Good to see you. I'll see you again next year. Okay. All right. Very good. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to PAC-14. We'll see you soon. Good. All right. That'll be great. All right. Let me go look for my... Uh, my that. Head section. Yeah. What did I do? <laughs> No, just, just look just, interested. Just smile at Jackie, please. That's not too hard. No. Just that oh, cutaway yeah. shot. No, quit, quit nodding. Quit nodding. <laughs> That's a nice, nice smile there. That's good. There and uh, there was mm -hmm. uh, one thing I, I need uh, from you to say. I'm checking my notes right now. I didn't cut to you back in time, and it was uh, sort of like an exactly. Yes, exactly right. Like that. Just say that to Jack. Exactly. Say what? Exactly right? Yeah, exactly mm -hmm. right. Yes. Next, uh, round against you. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Exactly right. You're exactly right. I want that little piece of tape, and I'm just going to play it over and over again for, like, my husband. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta I'm going to look the last That's one. what I said. I missed, like, a huge block of primetime television. Like, there are just years that there are shows I know nothing about. Yeah. yeah. Because Cause you're alive. Well, on the weekends, it's good because you, at least we have our weekends because there's right. the people that work the weekend shift and then, you know, mm, their weekends right. like Monday, Tuesday. Right. Yeah, that's I'd cool. rather do the morning shift and then, you know, go to bed early during the week than at least have my weekends to yeah. be in normal society. Yeah. That's true. The yeah. scariest thing for me was always I would fall asleep in the afternoon in the winter and, it would, and I would wake up and it was dark. <sighs> yeah. I think, oh, my God. Is it 5 p.m. or 5 a.m.? Yes, that it's happens. It's 5 a.m.? I know exactly. I'm really screwed. It's, yeah. it's, like the, it's like something that only like our business will yeah. understand. But it happens to me so many times. And you wake up in that panic, and you yep. look at your phone, and you're like, I, don't, I can't understand this. I, have I don't no know. idea what I don't time know what it is. Yep. I don't know what it is. I know. Yeah. I know. Let me turn on the TV, and let me see what it's on. Yep. All right, good. It's time it's on. It's <gasps> exactly. It's That's exactly what it was. Yeah. yeah. People's court is on. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. <It's fine. laughs> All right. Yeah. So we're going to talk some tennis. Um, I'll just introduce you guys. It's Falsetti, right? Yes. And Adamo? Yep. Okay. Um, and you guys played last year, and had you played tennis? Uh, I didn't. Previous to that, she, you she played didn't. a little bit? I played for my college, Linden State College. It was a okay. Division three, but um, I was our number one singles and doubles player for... Oh, awesome. Yeah, nice. so... Okay. All right. 
Yeah, I just played just with a friend, you know, for you know a year before. To do it. So just okay. kind of a few times before the tournament. Hey Tom, how much time did have we used up already? Uh, you have all the time you want. We're not affected by anything. <laughs> Give me like a ballpark. Uh, about six, seven minutes. Okay. All right. I'll give you the finger. If, <laughs> if really? I wanted to wrap up. All right, we're good. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay. Three, two, one. Welcome back, everybody. Joining me now are Jen Falsetti and Mark Adamo. You know them from WMDT. Weather man and morning anchor. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And Thanks you guys are the big tennis pros. <laughs> yeah, we like right? to think so. We like to think so. I would yeah. love to be one day, maybe. Awesome. So you played in this event last mm -hmm. year for the first time. Give me a little bit of your tennis background. Jen, you had some legitimate tennis background, right? Yes. I uh, I played in college. Okay. I played number one singles for Linden State College um, for two out of the three years that I played. I also was uh, most valuable player two of the three years that I played. Nice. So I, I've always had a lot of fun playing tennis. I played growing up and in high school. But Mark here, you didn't have much experience, but you did really, really well. Well, thank you. Yeah, basically, <laughs> before the tour, I guess for my experience, I did well, Right. all things considered. Yeah, I only played about a, a year before then, and that was just a couple pickup games here there. That's why she was the captain of our team. Yeah, she had the yeah. experience. <laughs> I, I played a couple times before the tournament. And so, then, so what was the training like? Do you play, because you play doubles, right? Yeah, we played okay. doubles right. before. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we would just try to go to the court and, mm -hmm. and uh, hit as much as, and she would try to give me some pointers. What you, he was really good with is he was a great net player and I was also a good baseline player. So in that sense, we made a really great team. Also, you were very fast and my shots were a little bit harder. So we kind of my weaknesses were his strengths, mm -hmm. so we kind of bounced off of each other, which actually ended up working out really well. Yeah, and she had all the good form, you can kind of tell. <laughs> you know, all the actual <laughs> tennis players when we were out there were like, oh, right. I know, she plays tennis, she's really good. And then I go up and they're like, you can run, you're you're fast. So that was yeah. that was the nice thing they said about me. Like, you can, you can, you're doing good. You're well, doing clearly good. there's yeah. some athletic ability I here that, somewhere, right? Well, last year yeah. I was also training to do the Seagull Century. So I had already been doing a lot of training and then uh, just kind of got into this as well. So I try to stay active, I try to do things outdoors and tennis, sure, sure. why not? I'll All pick right. it up. So it sounds like you had fun. Lots of fun. Great yeah. time. It was a really great time. And we've actually been playing now, we've been playing with each other pretty much. It's been such a warm winter, we've been able to get outside and really be proud practicing for this. So WBOC better bring it. Oh, we weren't even <laughs> mentioning their names, but since you brought it up, um, yeah, you played against them last year. How'd it go? It was uh, it was fun, but you know <laughs> I think it, 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 it could have been it could have been better. We you know we're off to a little bit of a rough start for our first match. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, so there, but there's some rivalry there, yes? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. yeah we're, we we uh, we want to take home the trophy, so we, we're gonna we're gonna come back out pretty hard next All time. All right. Yeah, I was gonna say because I'm looking at the trophy here and it says WBOC on it, so I'm hoping to see. Uh, yeah. Seeing as how it was your first actual tennis match, I think we did really well. But I think we also needed to build that that practice playing as a team, and we've really I think we've done pretty pretty good with that. Yeah, that's something that we'll continue to work on as well. Just continuing to play in that doubles environment. It's so different playing doubles compared to singles. to singles. So that was just a brand new experience. Not to mention, like you meant, like you said first time ever having a real match and. Any viewers who didn't see it, they need to come out again because that was <laughs> it was, a it, it was a, amazing. It was intense. It was intense. We had line. We had a line, line judge. judge. We had the the ball. The ball boys catching the balls. Well, yeah. it was an actual event you would see on TV, but mm -hmm. right here that I was actually partaking. Well, in. and you have a little bit of an, event, an advantage too because now you've played together for a year. You don't know who you're playing against right. just yet, right? I don't think they've started to practice I'm not, yet. Well, we've definitely come out and said that it's definitely yeah, us. It is we, de we've okay, confirmed yeah, confirmed that it will be the two of us, but I don't know, they they have not said anything back. We're not nervous. They want to. Not We're at not all. nervous. Mm -mm. All right, well, I look forward to it. We want to remind people that the event, uh, this particular event is 10 a.m. Sunday, Saturday morning, uh, August 18th. So come out and uh, mm -hmm. cheer your favorite team on. But what a great event for a great cause. Yeah. And did you guys get a chance to see any any other parts of the event last year? Yeah, I tried we, to make it a, a yeah, lot. Yeah, we did. And we also played in the Celebrity Pro-Am, which we get paired up with someone actually playing in the tournament, a professional player. And we kind of just, you know, play each team. The winner goes on to the next court. So it was just kind of a fun way to, to get out and meet everyone involved in the tournament. And the proceeds, they all went towards Coastal Hospice. So it's, it's all for a great cause and it's all in good fun. And the level of tennis too was, I was amazed. Incredible. Because before then, like I said, I'd only played a couple times with some friends and the courts next to me were just you know anyone who's just wanting to have fun playing on the tennis courts 
these guys, I had never been that close to a court where people actually knew what they were doing. They hit the ball so hard. They're, they have some amazing shots. There's actually really good tennis that we can see right in our own backyards. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, and that's what we're trying to promote to people. So thank you guys so much for your part in it. Good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Keep thank practicing, you. and we'll see you in August. I can't wait. Thanks for having us. Why am I here? Why am I here? They just talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> at, uh, Jack, we're supposed to look at Jack before we're like, talking. Oh, that was happening to me um, so much last week. Um, let's see, Jen, what, the, the, the line said you said uh, WPOC <coughs> was there. Uh, just say, uh, just to say um, yeah, that other television station won it last year, but we're going to, uh, we're <laughs> going to take the trophy home. Okay, no, sure. Yeah, sell Jack. Are you really like that adamant about not saying their name? Yeah. We can't really? say their name? I can, I, I, I can be that way. <laughs> yeah, they're being um, okay, so no, they're they're not. <laughs> well, I can't be? I no, 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 you can be. You, you can be whatever Do you want. I have that right to, to be that way? You uh, can be. Okay. They might right. put their little yeah, helicopter you, above you. That's okay. If you can uh, follow just you just home. Jackie for a little bit and then uh, just say that, that, that line. Okay. So just say yeah, that other team, I guess. That other TV station, uh, they, they took the, the championship last year, but I think we've been practicing, we've been practicing quite a bit over the, over the past few months, and I think we're ready to take it on this year. Very good. And just to complete the circle of strife, Jackie, uh, mm -hmm. you say, yeah, I see that other television station's name on the trophy. So you said, I see Sounds okay. awfully scripted <laughs> for an interview. You're getting a little ahead of yourself, though, because I don't, I don't say that until way later, I don't think. No, Do you I? Said, you said it. I'm just going to replace it. Oh. It's a close-up shot. I was on the wide shot. Oh. Yes, I can see that on the trophy. Okay. Okay. And did I ask a question after that? It was uh, pretty much, yes, I, you said I can see WBOC's name on the trophy. Um, where did you go with that? Then you said, um, so I, I expect to see uh, your okay. question on there. Okay. 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 Yeah, so I see WVOC's. Oh, wait, I see, I can't even say it. Is that called a replacement? If I'm going to be vindictive, you, you have to be cooperative. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. All right, this is just in case I can make it work. And that smile will work well in conveying because you were happy that way. Because you were happy. <laughs> okay. I'm not vindictive. No, 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 you were happy. You were smiling. Okay. All right. So this okay. Was, the, the, the smile's okay. good. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, I see that other television station's name on the, the trophy. I expect to see yours on there this year. Good. That's all I need to make that work. <laughs> and anything that uh, we had to cover that we didn't cover? I think you got it all. I think we got it all. Okay. All right. You ready? I think we're good. Thank you. Go home and go to bed. All right. Thank you. Nice smiles whenever you are ready. All right. Three, two, be sure to join us this year at the Purnell Thomas Tennis Tournament, August 14th through 19th. As w Team WMDT <laughs> takes home the Coastal Hospice Cup. And we'll just do it again. No time, to, you don't have to rush. Okay. Take yeah, time. take your time. Take your time. And uh, no need to count. Nice smiles whenever you are. Uh, Mark, I think it might be your mic. Just touch the mic for a second. Oh, always your mic. Is that good? Or? Right. Uh, Jen, can you just touch your mic for a second? Are we all good? No, get, oh. get some kind of, uh, Is it mine? I'm sure it's not mine? Yeah, it's not mine. Uh, I think it's Jen's mm, mine. Just rotate it. Just rotate it. Mm. Rotate it. Like move it a little bit? Mm. Somewhere else? All right, that should be good. Join us this year for the Purnell Thomas Tennis Tournament, August 14th through 19th. As Team WMDT takes home the the host that big silver cup, the Coastal, Coastal, Coastal Hospice, Hospice Cup. Hospice cup. Right. Okay. Okay. Yep. And uh, if you can remember Memorial. Oh yeah. Okay. That's okay. All right. Nice smile whenever you're ready. Join us this year for the Purnell Thomas Tennis. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> Purnell it's Thomas hard Memorial. To say. Memorial. It's really to hard memorial. to say. <laughs> Purnell Thomas Memorial. All right. All right. Don't worry about Memorial. memorial. 
Join us this year for the Pernell Thomas Tennis Memorial. <laughs> Memorial. That's right. Pernell Thomas Memorial Tennis Tournament. All right. Nice uh -huh. smile. And whenever you're ready. Oh, both look on the camera. And whenever you're ready. Join us this year for the Pernell Thomas Memorial Tennis Tournament, August 14th through 19th. As Team WMDT tries to take home the Coastal Hospice Cup. Very good. Very nice. Excellent. Very nice. You go with that, Jim? Nice. That's true. <laughs> that's probably, that's probably the best one. I was surprised and honored by the invitation to participate in the Purnell Thomas Pro Am last year. I was honored because I became familiar with the tournament from my radio interviews with the event organizers, and I knew that it was a cause I wanted to support. A recent health scare had me thinking about the need to get some more exercise, and this seemed like a great way to augment my workout. I was surprised because there's a problem. I hadn't held a tennis racket in my hand since Jimmy Connors was ranked. Vaughn Baker came to my rescue, though, and helped me get back into the game. What a thrill it was for this tennis hacker to mix it up with some of the best in the country. The players were terrific. They had a lot of fun with us amateurs, and we were the beneficiaries of their patience and some great tips, too. Tennis has become a permanent part of my exercise routine. It's a win-win. My desire to help a great cause helped me as well. Who knew we had some great tennis talent among the local television media? That discovery during the Pro-Am event led to the creation of the Coastal Hospice Cup. I was honored to MC that match between our local TV personalities. I think all of us in the crowd expected to see a light-hearted, fun event, but what we saw was some very good amateur tennis. The participants had a great time and are looking forward to this year's cup match. It's another opportunity to have some fun, get some exercise, and help support the important services provided by Coastal Hospice not to mention bragging rights for the upcoming year. 